thanks for joining us here on uh, Biosphere 2 Live. My name is Katie Morgan. I'm manager of Marine Systems out here. And today we are on the Biosphere 2 beach. Behind me here is our 700,000 gallon saltwater ocean. Um, and today I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about some of the invertebrates that we have living in this system. So the reason that we have invertebrates in here is because this system has quite or has had quite a bit of algae in it in the past and the current project that we're working on is looking at going from a more degraded reef that traditionally has a lot of algae back to a healthy reef and tracking that process so this has involved us actually pulling about 10,000 pounds of algae out of the system by hand and in order to keep that algae under control we require some help so we don't have to go in as divers every day we've recruited some invertebrates to help us kind of keep that algae out of balance, that it's healthy for our system. So one of the first um, animals that we introduced here, and I'll pull a few out for you to see, um, are our hermit crabs. So these guys, see if any one of them are brave enough to come out, it might take them a minute. Um, these are red-legged hermit crabs. We've introduced over 30,000 of these guys in the last couple of years. And they're really awesome algae eaters. Um, they do a great job in this system. They were kind of our test species. We wanted to make sure that we had an animal in here that we knew was able to really adapt to different circumstances as we were able to confirm that animals could healthy, be healthy in this system. So these were one of the first animals that we've introduced and they've been super successful. So we've been really happy. Here's one coming out there in that big shell. Um, they've been ones that We've been have a lot of fun watching in here as they roam around and clean up that algae. Um, I think the math is if we really wanted these guys to do the job by themselves, we'd probably need about half a million of them in the system. Obviously, that would be a lot of hermit crabs to put in here. So we have made sure that we have a lot of different kind of species because we're also focusing on building a healthy ecosystem, a community of animals that can live together in harmony and that we can study as we move into this coral reef project. So this is an example one of some of the fun little inverts that we have in this system here. I'm gonna grab out our second species. If he'll come off of me. So this here is one of our top crown snails. So these are one of the animals that we introduced uh, two years ago. We introduced 500 of these in the system. And they've also been really successful. You can see here, see if I can get his foot to stay out. He's gonna close up, he's a little shy. Oh, he's gonna come out and say hi. So these guys are awesome algae eaters. They actually kind of clean up after our other animals. So we consider them more polishers. So they go along and clean up maybe some of the debris that the hermit crabs or some of our other animals may leave behind in the system. So we still often find these along our intertidal area in this kind of shallow, rocky area here. Um, but we've been finding them more and more on the reef area as we've really cleared up the algae along the shore here. Now, my favorite invertebrate that we've added are these guys. So this is a short spine sea urchin. If you look really closely, you can actually see those little spines start to move. So we added, we've added about 50 of these guys to our system here, and they are excellent algae eaters. Our urchins are definitely the stars of the show. Um, you can tell which rocks they've been on because they completely will clean off an entire rock. So these ones are, are animals that we have continued to add to the system over the last year. So April was our first edition of these guys, and we actually just added another 25 of them this past February, and they are incredibly successful. They love it on the reef. Um, if you are visiting us at Biosphere 2, you can often see them when you're looking up during your tour. You can see them on the reef out here as well. So these have been some really successful animals that we've had in here. So we had a question from yeah. Seth, and he wants to know what's the pH of the water? Yeah, great question, Seth. Our pH is about 8.3 right now. Um, so that's pretty typical of what you would be just a little bit more basic than you'd see in the oceans, but we're pretty happy with that pH. Um, we're not doing any kind of manipulation of the pH right now. 
Um, our first kind of major experiment when we get corals will be looking mostly at temperature uh, until we develop the ability to manipulate that pH as well. So these urchins were introduced in April along with some fish. So we actually added about 22 fish and these fish introductions were the first introductions since 1996. So we weren't sure how successful that was going to be. Um, so we actually added these fish and watched and you know, wanted to see if they would survive in this system. And they have. So we have about 22 fish that are newly added. We have about 50 fish in here total. Um, and it's been really fun to kind of see them get used to the system. I actually, when I was out here getting this urchin from the reef, I saw about five of them schooling past me. So we are continuing to add life to the system in preparation for the coral experiment, which we will be talking about more on a live coming to you soon. So that's it for the invertebrates today. I just want to put a plug out there that on Friday, we are going to be doing a live question and answer. So if you have any questions about Biosphere 2, anything that you've heard, anything that you want to see, um, we're going to go ahead and drop that in the comment section, and we will make sure that we answer your question on Friday. Thanks for joining us today.